Hello, and thanks for joining us for today's webinar titled, Five Best Practices to Practically Eliminate Downtime in Education. I'll try saying that five times fast. I'm Kevin Collins from Unitrends, and I'm here with Dick Sapler, one of our product marketing managers, and he'll be taking us through the presentation today. And don't forget, one lucky attendee will be walking away with a $100 Amazon gift card. We'll contact the winner via email after the webinar. But before we get started, I want to cover a few housekeeping items. The session will be recorded, and after the event, you'll receive an email with a link to the on-demand version of the webinar. I would also encourage you to ask questions throughout the presentation. You can do so by typing them into the Q&A box in the bottom right of the player. We'll answer your questions at the end of the session. At this point, I'll turn it over to Dick. Enjoy the presentation, and Dick, take it away. Great. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Um, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you joining me today. Um, I hope not to take too much of your time. I am, I'm pretty sure most of you are in the education marketplace and therefore will know many of these things, um, but uh, hopefully you'll get a fresh view on um, how to, to take care of uh, downtime inside of education. Um, as Kevin said, my name is Dick Sappler. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Unitrends. I've been in IT for about 30 years and uh, come to you today from beautiful but cold Burlington, Massachusetts. Um, and you get a bonus today. Um, the SEO people told me you, you never put out a title that says five or six best practices. And they say it has to be a five, a 10, or a number with a big zero in it. So I, I agree, five, but I'm really gonna do six. And um, so part of my job here at Unitrends is I manage the customer success program. And so as part of that, I, I literally interview a couple of dozen customers every week. Um, and many of them are educational customers. Um, so I, have, I write up the success programs, I write up the uh, experiences customers have, and so most of the content that you're gonna see today uh, comes directly from the mouth of educational uh, providers. So really this is, a, the goal of the webcast is to give education IT professionals direction on how your peers address data backup and continuity challenges uh, those that are unique to uh, education. And so really what I want to tell you, and you probably feel this in your day-to-day -day life, but education is really a unique industry. Um, and as such, you have really unique data backup and business continuity issues. So, um, uh, but first let me make a note about who we are, uh, Unitrends, just in case you don't know who we are. So we literally, uh, Unitrends is a backup and continuity uh, appliance manufacturer. Uh, we also have Unitrends Cloud, and we literally have thousands of education customers. And by that, I mean both K through 12, universities, and uh, around the globe, just not here in North America. Um, and so the quotes that you'll see on those slides all come from my customer success stories. And, um, and so these are the six lessons from the people who have really faced challenges and are handling them very well. So lesson number one, and this is probably not news to any of you listening here on the, on the call, but this comes up in almost every single conversation that the IT departments from educational institutions are really stretched. And by stretched, what I mean is, is that uh, there's really uh, no industry that has more budget restraints. Um, you know, for the K through 12, uh, you know, you have to go through town halls and moderators. Your, your funding comes from taxes uh, and sometimes town meetings. Um, and you've got to compete with all of the other needs within the towns. And so, for, for, uh, you know, for universities, every university is trying to keep their, uh, their tuition down and the growth rate down. So there really is, uh, education really is the original more with less industry. And so the people, the staff is very uh, strained. Um, they're, the people are wearing multiple hats, they're doing many, many jobs. And one of the ones that, um, that is, is taking too much of their time, quite frankly, is backup and data protection. So um, what we offer then uh, for, for these particular types of customers is our hardware and software virtual appliances. Um, the picture you see here on the right side of the screen is our recovery series. It's our hardware appliance, um, and really it's an all-in-one solution. So what it has, it has everything you would need in order to do backup. The operating system, the storage, uh, hypervisors, operating system, 
um, and then connectivity into the cloud. You see that's the Unitrends cloud we have depicted there. Um, but we also connect into Amazon Web Services and, and also Azure. So if you were to try and to build a backup solution on your own, you probably have to deal with nine or ten different vendors and nine or ten different products. Ours is really the all-in-one solution. It's all in there. Uh, and literally, you rack, connect, and go. And while you're doing that process, our customer service and support people are on the phone with you, helping you through the setup process so that literally by the end of the process, you are literally ready to rock. Um, the second uh, uh, lesson that I've learned from the education is that you're really, what you have is almost a computer museum. You have a large number of legacy hardware and software products uh, within your infrastructure. Um, you know, because of the budget constraints, all of your, uh, your applications, your hardware are kept past their advertised useful life. And so you end up with this uh, mishmash, this hodgepodge of uh, legacy products, operating systems, applications, and so forth. And so you, you then end up with a collection of backup processes because many of the backup products that are out on the market today only do certain things. They only work in a physical environment. They only do virtual environments. They don't do Linux. They don't do Zen. Uh, they don't do, um, you know, uh, any of the uh, Ubuntu or some of the uh, uh, more obscure uh, Linux uh, derivations. And so really when you have multiple backup processes, what you end up is with gaps in coverage. Um, you know, what you really need then is one backup solution that covers everything. And that's what Unitrends provides. We literally have over 250 applications, operating systems, and hypervisors uh, included in our, um, uh, our compatibility matrix. Uh, we protect virtual and physical. We do local or remote. We do it on site. We protect in the cloud. You literally just point to whatever it is that you want to protect, and you add it into your backup schedule. It, no extra licenses for a recovery series. Um, you just point, you set it, forget it, and the backups occur. Um, and one of the nice things that we hear um, is that we, you, after you set up the backup schedule, after your backups run, you can set it up so that you get an email at the end of every backup session. And the email has a series of red, yellow, and green uh, indicators on it. And uh, green indicates that it was a successful backup. Red is that it was unsuccessful and the reason why. And then yellow means there's something you might want to look at. So literally many of our customers, they just look at that email, they scan it for anything other than a green light, and, uh, and they're done. Quite frankly, it's, it's, it's that easy. Um, the third lesson we see with uh, educational institutions is there's still great dependency on tape, uh, tape backup systems. Um, many organizations, um, you know, have reported that backup windows have grown as the data volumes grow. Uh, several industry, industries I, or educational institutions I've talked to, their backup window is literally the entire weekend. And, um, and so as the data grows, more and more you're missing the backup window. And that backup window, the production servers are affected because you had to quiesce some of the applications. And then tape sometimes doesn't copy correctly. There are issues with it. And you don't really know until you need to restore, and by then it's too late. And if you want to get uh, you know, your data off-site into a remote location for protection purposes, somebody literally has to physically walk the tape to another place or you ship it. It adds cost. You have to buy tape. Um, there's still this dependency on tape within the educational institutions. Um, and this is really where disk-based back, backup is, uh, really shines. Um, faster, easier. Um, we have uh, inline deduplication, so the snapshots take up much less space. They're faster, and, um, and therefore you can have more uh, backups, and therefore your recovery point is that much closer if uh, there's ever an issue. Um, also, fast backups mean much less degradation in system performance. Um, and you also get automated file management. You can replicate the files that you backed up you know, to on-site devices, to off-site devices, to the cloud, to the Unitrends Forever Cloud for long-term retention, or to Amazon or Azure um, with no physical intervention on your part. Um, but if you absolutely require tapes, 
um, because there are some pieces in your infrastructure that, uh, uh, that absolutely still requires that. We have tape connectors uh, for our devices, and you can work that into the backup schedule for us as well. So literally, you should be spending no more than one hour per week managing your data backups. That's what people who are really best in class in the educational institutions uh, do when you have a set it and forget it disk-based backup system like Unitrans Recovery Series. They literally report spending less than an hour per week managing their backups. Uh, lesson number four, and this is the most requested IT task uh, inside of educational institutions, and that is recovering lost files. Um, Education has perhaps the highest number of supported users per IT head. Um, you know, when you look at, for example, the quote on the bottom there, you know, they, they basically, uh, the, the Rocky Hills or the Rocky Hill, Connecticut Public Schools, they have three IT people and they're supporting almost 3,000 students. Um, and most of those students are fairly unsophisticated users, to say the least. Or you have a couple of fairly highly sophisticated users that just do stupid things. Um, they regularly delete or lose emails, files or, or folders. They didn't think they were going to need them. Uh, and then with tape, obviously, it's very hard to go find the right tape, uh, spin it to exactly the right location, um, and, uh, and recover a lost file. Um, but with a uh, disk-based backup, um, all of our products have a single a user interface across the products. And so you can take just one of our devices and literally use it to manage all the Unitrends devices in your entire infrastructure. So literally, even it's so easy to use that even untrained staff can log in, find the file in the folder, and restore it to the user. And that entire process, from login to full uh, access to, the, app, uh, to the, the, the file, should be less than five minutes. If you're spending more than five minutes to recover a file, then uh, you're, you're not optimized for that process. And so this is far and away the most requested uh, task that uh, educational IT professionals are asked to perform. Lesson number five, ransomware. Um, and I don't know any school that hasn't been hit by ransomware uh, one way or the other. Um, and this is not just education. Uh, about 60% of organizations report that they have been attacked by ransomware last year. I think the other 40% are liars when they say they haven't been. But uh, it's just that uh, uh, experts are now saying that 40% of the email spam contains some form of ransomware links. There are people that are advertising ransomware applications on YouTube that literally you can download onto your computer and you can become a ransomware pirate uh, if you promise to give them 30% of your uh, winnings, your, 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 your bitcoins that you have won. So it, it's becoming a ransom industry. Um, and literally education users, you know, you're talking about kids, they, are, they fall easily for clickbait. Um, all it takes is one person, um, and you can train all you want, you can warn people all you want, but all it takes is one user clicking on the wrong file, and now you've got an infection. So um, with Unitrends, um, the, the only real protection you can have about ransomware is doing backups, and backups ensure that you have recoverability. Um, we have some unique ransomware recovery capabilities, such as automated testing, and testing backups to ensure that they're not infected, uh, and we test recovery to the point of actually launching an application. Um, so no matter where the components are, the components can be on-site, they can be remote, they can be in the cloud, and, um, and it's only until you test to the point of actually launching the application that you are sure that all the settings and all the code and all the data is where it should be and available for that. Um, Unitrends appliances are written in hardened Linux. They're not written in Windows. Uh, some of our competitors are actually Windows devices that become just another target uh, for ransomware pirates. Um, and all Unitrends appliances will automatically detect ransomware um, as they do their backup routine. So if a file has changed dramatically between backups, um, we have uh, uh, some 
technology that can recognize the footprint of ransomware and send out an alert to uh, the administrator that uh, these files have been infected. And therefore, you get kind of an early warning indicator that uh, ransomware is in your system. So you catch it before it can infect more files. And really, what the, the bottom line is, is that you need to know exactly the time of your last good backup, because that's the point that you recover to uh, from a ransomware attack. And if that is, is you've got lots of snapshots, uh, short periods of time, then you won't lose much data. Uh, so a disk-based backup system appliance that's set up to do this uh, means that you'll recover uh, quickly from a ransomware attack. And here's your bonus, lesson six, data privacy. Um, and a lot of it's because of the nature of your clients that you have to deal with a lot of proprietary data. Um, most education data literally involves minors. So the, the data has to be protected. You have things like uh, social security numbers, financial information, uh, and you also have health records uh, for your student body. And those then come under the auspices of HIPAA and the security mandates uh, for the uh, health insurance protection uh, program of, by the federal government. So there's a ton of data that needs to be backed up but you also have to do it in a way that protects it uh, and keeps it from falling into the wrong hands. So with the Unitrends products, um, our appliances support um, uh, replicating data locally so that the control of that data is in your possession at all times. Or we can do it to a remote site that you have uh, within the school system or to a HIPAA compliant cloud like the Unitrends Forever Cloud. Um, and any of these locations can be used for long-term retention or for disaster recovery purposes. Uh, the Unitrends appliances come with the ability to encrypt uh, files uh, with uh, AES 256-bit encryption, and that can be used to protect data both in flight and at rest. And, um, and we can also do dedupe at the same time so that those files are nice and small. So it, uh, it brings us to a point that I wanted to make that you actually have an advantage over other industries that uh, doesn't get talked about much. But because um, most of you are, particularly in the K to 12 or even universities with campuses, most of your school systems are actually spread across a wide geographic area. And what that does is it gives you multiple remote locations uh, for data backups. So um, we deal a lot with uh, small and, and medium-sized businesses, and, and most of them deal with a single location. So when you start talking about needing to get a remote copy of your data off-site and out of the data center, um, they're at a disadvantage. They have to pay to have a colo. Um, they have to uh, uh, use a cloud account uh, and set that up. But uh, quite frankly, school districts have this advantage that their schools are generally uh, located across um, different zones, uh, different electrical grids, uh, different floodplains, um, and so forth. So that they literally, you guys have a built-in disaster recovery site kind of within your control. So I really encourage you to take advantage of that uh, in, in your data protection schemes. So um, what Unitrends can do to help you is that literally you can put uh, an appliance at both locations and they will automatically replicate to each other and serve as each other's backup. Um, and this obviously protects against the site level disaster. Um, but each of those can now then be brought up instantaneously um, if you have a failure, say, at your, your home office at the main school, then the applications can literally be spun up instantaneously at the remote location because the backups then are used as the disaster recovery files. So, um, and you can set this up so it'll happen automatically. You can set it up so that you have to declare it and make it happen. Um, but you no longer then have to move physical tapes to get this secondary site. Um, Literally, use this advantage. Many of our SMB customers pay a lot of money to gain uh, this sort of capability. So I just wanted to take a, a minute or two to review uh, our capabilities, um, and that is that um, uh, you don't want to have to think about backup. 
you have so many other things you do. Nobody went to IT school because they wanted to learn how to do backup. They want to be able to work with the business uh, and enable the business to be more efficient and, more, and work with their clients. Um, so you want to have a single vendor solution. You don't want finger pointing. You don't want to have to worry about version upgrades and, and who, uh, which, is it a hardware issue or a software issue? Um, you want a complete solution. Um, and you want something that ultimately you can trust will work every time. It'll give you the confidence that you can sleep at night knowing that your data and apps are fully protected and available for instant recovery. And this, quite frankly, just frees up time for you to go and to do other things, uh, the other three different hats or jobs that you have to do as an IT professional inside the educational institution. So just, you know, the difference between Unitrends and other uh, backup vendors, we're one vendor, one throat to choke. Our customer support uh, has a 98% customer satisfaction rating, primarily because we, we take care of it all. You call us, we can, we can do everything. Um, literally simple to deploy, rack, connect, and go. It's all in the box. Uh, we can do local, we can do cloud continuity, uh, we can do recovery assurance testing, automated testing to make sure that the data is good, not infected with ransomware, and that can, it, can, it can recover. Um, our boxes are purpose-built, hardened Linux. They can't be hacked by ransomware. And our, as I said, our customer satisfaction rating of 98%. Um, they'll sit with you during the setup process, and they're available for a call. Um, they're all based in the United States. They're not based in India. Uh, they, they literally sit on the floor with our engineering people uh, down in Columbia, South Carolina. So uh, uh, really the best uh, solution as far as uh, enterprise backup and uh, business continuity. So you really want to make sure you use a vendor that provides all-in-one enterprise backup and, uh, and can work with you. So in summary, um, education, uh, we understand education IT requirements and that they're so unique. And we've worked with literally thousands of K-12 and university customers to solve these problems, and we can do it with you. And our features really meet uh, the special needs of the educational industry. Uh, some resources if you'd like to try it. We, uh, we have free trials of all of our products, both software and hardware. Uh, you can go to our free downloads uh, page on our website and request a copy and, um, and, and try it out. Uh, we have some live demos that are also available if you want to see uh, what I've been talking about at live and in color and how they actually work. And you can also talk to one of our expert uh, connectivity experts. Um, and they can uh, walk you through this if you have specific questions about your environment. And just the last slide that I'm going to do is that uh, we actually have a promotion running right now for our educational industry customers. Um, what we will do is we will apply the value of your remaining support contract on your existing backup and continuity system to the purchase of a new Unitrans backup appliance. So uh, this is on our website as well. It's a great opportunity uh, to get introduced to Unitrends capabilities and to, uh, and to get a, a Unitrends appliance at a, at a very reasonable price. Okay, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I'll uh, turn this back to Kevin. Kevin? Thank you, Dick. Uh, great presentation. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's still time to ask questions. If you do have a question, you can type it into the bottom right-hand corner of the player, and we'll, uh, we'll kick off the questions right now. Uh, first question is, could you go into greater detail on how your products can automatically detect a ransomware attack? Okay, good. Um, yeah, this is um, predictive analytics is the technology that uh, uh, we're describing here. And so what happens is, uh, let's say you do a backup at 9 o'clock in the morning, um, and that, that file has a particular type of footprint. Um, then you get infected by ransomware, and ransomware then encrypts that file so the next backup is going to look very, very different as far as the, the dedupe process um, from the, uh, the backup that was done previously. And using predictive analytics, what we can tell is basically by the, the format of the data and the changes that that is the sort of change that is, is brought about by a ransomware attack. So we have then the ability to uh, send an alert to the administrator that uh, you would want to take a look at that file. Uh, we believe you've been hit by ransomware. 
and really what it's doing, it's using predictive analytics as a way, as an early warning indicator that ransomware is in your system. Uh, ransomware pirates are pretty devious. Um, a lot of times they won't alert you that you've been infected and demand a payment until they've actually been able to burrow around your infrastructure for several days uh, and infect more and more files. So uh, obviously an early alert allows you to have fewer files infected and therefore uh, take action and, uh, and, and, and eliminate the ransomware attack with a rollback of your uh, systems. Okay, thanks for that. The next question is, if we had devices at different schools, would there need to be IT staff at the second location? Okay, um, so our user interface allows one of the devices to basically uh, manage every, all the Unitrends products that are within the infrastructure. So um, even if you had an unintended, unattended uh, data center or even just basically a closet at a remote site uh, with a Unitrends backup appliance there, uh, you can manage that from the home IT location. So uh, we literally can allow a single administrator to ad administer well over a thousand Unitrends products uh, they can deal with the uh, backups as a single database, uh, so they can apply uh, universal standards to them, but you can have one dedicated resource then that's responsible for uh, backup and, and, and continuity uh, from a single location, even though you have physical, multiple physical locations. Okay, next question is, we are providing our students with Office 365 in the cloud. Can you back that data up? Um, okay, so this is a slightly different kind of scenario. Um, so the Office 365 runs in Azure. And so we have a product um, called Office 365 that will actually uh, employ, uh, put one of our backup appliances, our Unitrends backup uh, software virtual appliance within Azure. And it will back up Office 365 files uh, that you can then control. So Microsoft, they do some uh, rudimentary backups. I think, um, for example, they don't empty their waste baskets uh, for 14 days. Uh, they do uh, some backups, uh, but to, to ask for a particular file to be found is, is quite lengthy, it can take days. Uh, and then once that waste basket is emptied at the end of the 14th day, uh, those files are pretty much gone forever. But because of our Office 365 backup application, uh, all the granular recovery capabilities that you can do on your own files, you can now do on Office 365 in the cloud. Um, so, um, so it's a slightly different product from the appliances that I was talking about, but uh, yes, we do have the capability of, of backing up Office 365 in Azure. Okay, we're just about out of time, so let me just ask you one more question and then we'll wrap it up. Sure. Uh, the last question is, I've heard about the 3 two, one strategy for backup. Can you talk about what that is and how Unitrends can help me with that? Okay. Um, so this is sometimes also referred to as the GFS or grandfather, father, son uh, strategy. And this is basically the three says you should have three copies of your backups uh, at all time. Uh, the two stands for you should have two media types. Um, one live on the disk, one in uh, you know a backup uh, site, and the one refers to you should have one copy of your file in a remote location, unconnected to your uh, production uh, servers. Uh, that's to keep ransomware and, and other uh, viruses from infecting the backups. So that three to one strategy is is kind of the, the the way you want to ensure your backups are managed uh, to optimize protection. Uh, but also uh, enable quick recovery if they're ever need, needed for disaster recovery. Okay, well thanks so much. I uh, just wanted to thank everybody for joining us today. As a reminder, this webinar was recorded and you'll receive an email with a link to the on-demand version uh, later today or tomorrow. Also, we'll be contacting the $100 Amazon gift card winner via email as well. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and we look forward to having you on future webinars. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.